We are doing a beef bourguignon, but I would have thought that's kind of stewy. What are those pastries doing here? Exactly. Well, I thought we'd glam it up a wee bit and serve it with a pastry crust. And sometimes when you make a pie, oftentimes people put the pie in and they put the pastry on top. But this you can do ahead and then you get your own little, you know, like serving container. Brilliant. So I just got a sheet of pastry here. And what I was going to do was just cut it into four. This is a flaky pastry. And then what you're going to do, see how those are all nice and shiny and golden? Yes. That's because they have an egg on them. So you're just going to whisk it up and then you're going to brush it and then you're going to put them in the oven. And they want to be, want to be about, when you're cooking puff pastry, you want to start it hot, about 200, 220. Do these blow up? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, that's simple. Really simple. Lots Makes you look, or not no, so just much. like that. Okay. Now, should we make the beef bourguignon? Yes. I've been dying to do this okay. all day, but you have no idea. <laughs> okay, so what we did was last night we marinated just some stewing beef. And I'm going to save the marinade because that's going to make the base of our sauce. Right, now... Okay, you're going to brown. Okay. And we want it to brown a bit. That's enough. She was going to put the whole lot in and it was all going to go bleh. The meat is very lean meat. You're using the internal muscle cuts. They have lots and lots of flavour. An incredibly good source of iron and zinc and B vitamins. So that applies to beef and lamb. Both have this really, really um, good nutrients. And for us women, we actually need iron. Mm, you know, it's do. really important. And I don't know if you've ever been anemic, but it, you just lose all your energy. And we can tip that juice in there and we're gonna carry on and get it brownie again. So we'll put a little bit more butter and oil in there. So we're just gonna put a bit of bacon in. I need another spoon. A clean one. A clean one. So you've got okay. some tomato paste in here, right? Yes. How much? A couple of tablespoons. Okay. And really what I've done here is I cook out the tomato paste because if you don't cook it out, it can have a really flat, sort of quite acidic back palate. So I'll always cook it and it starts to caramelise. And then I add the garlic because if you add the garlic um, at the beginning, it can brown and then it's quite bitter. And then I'm going to add a little bit of flour. And this is, again, really old-fashioned because the flour is a thickener and it needs cooking out because, again, if you didn't cook it at this point, the sauce would taste raw. It smells great. The garlic's coming through. It's smelling through, nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Mm. So this, this All is the while base on a low of heat, sauce, right? Mediumish. Mediumish. Yeah. So this is the base, and then we're going to put a couple of bay leaves in, and then we're going to. It's like making a white sauce, really, but it's just got a lot of other things in it. And this is a um, a wet stock. Okay, this is just a um, a liquid beef stock. Good. Now, do you want to chuck me that little pot there? And I'm going to show you how to do these buttered yams. They are really good. So I've got yams. They're going to take about six, eight minutes. I've just halved them. And I probably want some ginger. And what about my pastries? They're burnt. <laughs> my pastries are burnt. I'm famous for burning things. <laughs> I can't say the F word, that's Gordon Ramsay. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm a failure. You're not a failure. And you see, this is why... You don't cook. Yeah, because it well, never comes look, out looking like that. No, because look, look this is my... <laughs> <laughs> OK, we need the comparison. Pass one of those over. Look haven't. at that. Which one would you rather eat? But it's not a problem. I can tell you why it happened. <laughs> but it's not a problem. But I can't help but laugh. <laughs> well... Really, when you work with pastry, it wants to be very cold. And we were schmoozing around in the kitchen here. Not really, I wasn't very organised. And so the pastry got warm, and therefore it hasn't puffed up. But it actually doesn't matter, because you could just use two pieces, and it would look <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> See the pastry packages? We've got pastry sandwiches. They will be gorgeous. Fret not. Trust me. <laughs> they just look yuck. But don't you think people like to see when things... There we are. But you know what? They brown. smell great. This smells ready. That smells good too. <laughs> That's gonna be yummy. So let's now you can chuck your um, mush, your onions yeah, that are boiled in there. Thanks, honey. And some. Let's put some mushrooms in there. You could cut the mushrooms up, or I think we're just gonna. <laughs> God. Okay, there we are. Some little mushrooms can go in there, and we'll just put them in there, and then tip all that over there. Now. Yep. And you could do this in the slow cooker too. Yum! Can you all see that? Doesn't that look fantastic? It looks better than my pastry, doesn't it? <laughs> look, the pastry's got to taste... No, you'll burn your tongue. It's still going to taste great. Oh, <laughs> that wouldn't feed anybody. <laughs> OK, so that's going to go in the oven at 150 for about right. three hours. Luckily, I made one ahead. <laughs> and I would actually cover that 
So what we might do is we would just put that, it's called improvisation number 799. Don't burn your fingers. No. Do you want me to do something with the yams, like turn them on? Yep. <laughs> put some water in. Just put a little bit of water. I want you to put great some of that ginger in. I'm just going to chop some parsley to go over the beef. Now, the beef bourguignon, the one I made earlier, is in here. Do you want me to bring it to you? No, you can probably leave it there. Oh, it's looking good. It's look good. And the um, Brussels sprouts are ready to be... Eaten. Devoured. Okay. So, you take the lid off there. dun 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 Yum. Nutritionally, this is a lovely dish. It's got almost no fat in it. It goes a long way. The gravy is just so richly flavoured. The meat's got all those nutrients in it. Wonderful smell. Onions, mushrooms. Mm. Mm. Smell the orange and the yams. Isn't that nice? Yes. This is one of my favourite dinners, actually. If I'm having a dinner party, I'll often do something like this. And now and for the now. piece de resistance. Vraiment. The Brussels sprouts. Okay. Did you put the sesame oil in? I snuck it in when you weren't looking. Right. So kind of traditional. I mean, look at that. There we are going to give you another one. <laughs> Eat your greens. Da da da. And pastry. If you were clever, you'd actually put half on the bottom and half on the top. And it will get all oozy and yummy with the... See what I mean? You sort of sandwich it in between. Okay, so we've got beef bourguignon, absolutely beautiful. 